Hey guys, what's up? So, just want to share with you guys what happened, um, particularly as my experience um, during the typhoon. Uh, some call it Typhoon Rai. The Philippines calls it uh, Typhoon Odette. But it was really a Category 5 uh, typhoon or hurricane. It was really scary. And I uh, just want to, you know, at least sh share with you guys my experience. Um, what happened? What did I do? and um the aftermath as well so as you can see um i uh, most of you guys know that i live in the philippines and um this is if this is going to be your typhoon eye we are here in this island it's called negros uh negros island so it it looks like a shape of a foot so we are there we were literally in the center of the eye of the typhoon um one of the most you know i think intense experiences of my life and um so there you have it there that is the center and it uh, went through from east side which is around your east visayas side which is this part and um this is what happened in east visayas this is the one that i posted um in terms of the pictures um it really tore through the country from east to west um as it made landfall, it did all of these damage. So again, I um, just want to recall what, what I did for that day. I was actually going about my business for the day. I was, um, even though I knew that there was a typhoon coming in, I didn't expect it to be this, you know, this, this, this uh, crazy, crazy high category of five. I thought it was just you know a two or something because a few days prior to that day of the typhoon we had a, a typhoon which is a smaller one so what i wh what i was expecting was nah it's just going to be a similar typhoon but i was wrong i w i went out of the house uh, uh, gave out gifts to colleagues to friends then got home at around 2 p.m 2 p.m uh, philippine time i knew that you know, it was coming in. It was going to be... Uh, winds are actually intense enough. Um, so I secured some of the things out, outside of the house. At 6 p.m., it was already at signal number four. So storm signal number four is very dangerous already. Um, it um, it was... It made landfall, I think, some part of East Visayas. So I knew it was really serious and um, just to, you know, um, just to keep my mind off, we watched movies, my family and I, and at 10 p.m. Philippine time, everything went dark. So the lights went out, uh, they cut the power, not even internet connection. So we're, we were really in the dark. Um, I told my daughter to go to sleep, but uh, unfortunately... My wife and I wasn't able to sleep that much. We were awake the whole time. Um, and the most, the, the scariest thing that I experienced was uh, waiting for the roof to come off. So that is how I really felt during this time. Um, because I'll show you guys some of the pictures here for what happened. So these are actually floods. So as you can see here, Trees uprooted everywhere, trees, floods, even boats were not even saved. So um, my thinking was some of the roof already came off and the winds were howling. It was really, really terrifying because if the roof came off, definitely the rain would come in, the wind would come in. So again, it was it was one of the scariest moments in my life. I was about to to you know to have a panic attack uh, fortunately i you know didn't have any what i did was put on earphones put on music as loud as i can to take my you know my my head off what was happening outside and i had to basically um think about anything else aside from what was going on outside I, I saw from outside of my window, palm, my palm tree here was actually swaying and really the wind was crazy. Um, uh, things outside were falling, were breaking, and I just wished it wasn't, one of, uh, it, it wasn't my car. So again, really, really scary episode. Um, there was this one time where 
um, it kept on coming and coming in terms of the wind, and I thought the roof would come off. That was how scary it is for the first time in my life. So as you can see, more trees uprooted, trees falling down. This is actually these are actually pictures from my surrounding area. Um, these were these were com contributed by friends. Trees falling off, roof, roof flying off, flooding. Another, you know, um, uh, boats crashing. Uh, as as you can see, there are power lines or tele telecommunication lines going down. So again, the whole experience of of being in that situation wherein wherein you're fearful for your life, you're fearful for your family. Uh, you know, it's it's horrifying. We actually stayed up until two or three o'clock in the morning, um, just for just to wait for the winds to die down, and you know, it did really at around three o'clock in the morning. So again, it was really a horrifying experience. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't want you guys to go through it. For those who are in the Philippines with me and have gone through it, I hope you guys are actually um, safe wherever you are. Um, and I hope that, you know, you can comment down below on also your experience uh, with the past uh, typhoon that just... Uh, rock our our country which is Odette or Rai and that's it guys so just want to share with you the next day by the way I woke up at 7 in the morning just to check um, the roof just to check uh, just to check everything is alright outside and fortunately my roof is intact surprisingly but some houses were not you know some houses were not fortunate some people were not fortunate and um I hope um you know I hope this experience is going you know will strengthen those who were affected by this typhoon and hopefully guys if you're one of them I'd like to hear from you I'd like to hear your stories please put them in the comment section below and hopefully there are no more typhoons left for this year for the Philippines because we're usually are we are usually the path of most typhoons we usually get around 15 to 20 typhoons every year but this one was one of the craziest ones and for me i think personally was one of the scariest ones because it really uh, passed by on top of us especially the eye itself okay guys so thank you for you know for just listening to me just wanted to share with you my experience and what i have encountered in the past few days so Again, um, hopefully no more interruption for the next few days. Um, hope to bring you guys more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.